Alrighty, welcome to episode two in my basic circuitry series on Roblox Town. Uh, remember to always check the date of this video, as there might be a newer one, and the mechanics might have changed since I last made this one. Uh, if it has, I will definitely make sure to have made an updated video, defining the updated mechanics of it. Um, and let's hop straight into it. So, here is how to make a basic working camera system. This one's gonna, this video is going to be a little, little shorter this time, because I have limited time. But, uh, basically, you'll be able to walk up to your monitor here. Hit E, and then boom, you got a camera. This is only has one camera, but you'll be able to hit Q and E and cycle through all the cameras. You can hit hold down left click, and it'll zoom in on the area. Uh, let's close that out. You know, let's see your people a little closer. And then you'd all you have to do is uh, right click, or no, left click, and it'll exit you out of that camera. So, in order to make one of these, go ahead and grab out your B tools. Place down a part. This will be your monitor part. Let's just make this, what is this goofy Uber doing? Alright. I got some other people on the server right now. So let's say this is, that's your wall. And then you pull this out. Make a little screen here. There we go. Maybe set it to neon. Where's neon? There's neon. You know, there's your monitor. Alright. So then let's make a camera. So let's just copy you and pull you over here. And then we'll just go ahead and pull you, set you guys to zero. In fact, you know what, here, we'll, we'll just remove that. All right, so once you got your monitor and camera set up, uh, go ahead and go over to your monitor, select it with your um, texture tool. You can hit G. Um, and then go, you should, it might be a default as a decal, just select texture, select the front side, add texture, transparency to negative 500, or 500, either one works, I like negative 500, and then, uh, repeat 8 is gonna be the, um, one for the monitor, and then repeat, and then the other one doesn't do anything, I don't think. So, after that, uh, you can group it to the wall, that's what I did over there, but I think you can also just group it to itself. Or I might not have to group it at all. I'm not entirely sure. I like grouping them though. It makes it seems to make it work. So once you have that done, head over to your camera part, locate the front side. The front side is the face that's gonna be basically where it's gonna be viewing. So if you had the rear over here selected, the camera would be facing that away. Um make sure you figure out which side is the front, that way you know which can't place uh place your camera's gonna be facing. And then once you have located it, make sure you have front side selected. Add texture, negative 500 or 500. And then your repeat this time is going to be 9. It's very easy, very simple. And then um, group it to itself. Or group it to the camera model. It really doesn't matter. Uh, you probably will have a model for your camera though. And then you go ahead and WC. Hit E for the monitor. And then this is not the right camera. Um, oh, I see what happened here. So, you also have to make sure that the camera and the monitor are the same color. So, I'll just make them bright red for simplicity. And then go ahead and do WC again. And then, oh, it's still broken. Oh, boy. All right, troubleshooting process. Let's go. Ungroup it and then regroup it again on both sides. Ungroup, regroup, and then wire it again. Nope, that's it's just made it worse. All right, five hundred two nine M ungroup. Group once, ungroup, group once, and then WC it, and there we go, now she works, I'm pretty sure, let's go ahead and make sure we're looking at it the right way, yep, there I am, and that's the simple, uh, simple way on how to make a camera system. 
You can add many, as many cameras as you want. All you really have to do is just copy and paste them. Control C. Duplicate this. Oh. Duplicate them over. Pull them out over here. Here, let's give them a little rotation. Ooh, getting fancy with it. Give them our wire. And I got two cameras. Uh, Q and E switch between the cameras. And then you can also just change the colors of these to have more monitors and more cameras. Um, but what basically what happened there was I had the monitor, I had two monitors as the same color, both connected to the same camera, which got funky. So whatever you do, don't do that. Uh, and that's it. So next up, we'll be doing uh, logic gates, and I'll be explaining how those work. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, I'm not going to ask for a subscriber bell. That's all. That's entirely up to you. But uh, you totally should, though. <laughs> um, anyway, that's all for me. See ya.